Hi friends, I am speaking your friend Prabhagran. I am telling in this video the concept of how to set the key down event. Okay, whenever the text fill up on the text box, that time the cursor should be changed to each text box. Okay, uh, from one text box to another text box, the cursor move by the key down event. Okay, whenever enter using enter that time the cursor should be changed okay how it's to do first goes to that I am run and then explain to you see I am declaring sorry and then close and then again also debug more and then run it start the program see the cursor active from the age text box okay see this age text box first when the open the form in this running mode the active of cursor in age but need not uh, not in uh, id the age the cursor should be in id when opening the form that time the cursor should be id how it set and then uh, when uh, uh, clicking enter the time the text box even change to id to name name to gender gender to mobile and then mobile to age and then each text box always to do change just time goes to that uh, telling about this see uh, in this concept of the video see i am whenever clicking open the uh, runtime uh, the time the runtime form the time the cursor should be active on id text box okay so i am just to goes to clicking the form load event okay whenever the load form the time the cursor should be uh, id text box okay so just i am declaring the uh, in this form load event and then just goes to design and then click form double click and then open the form load event and then just click in this place that declare this dot this dot active control equal text box one okay control s and save it see this is text box one it just goes to property right click and then goes to property the property open see this is the text box one and select the id text box so at the text box one so i am declaring in this place the form load event this dot active control equal text box one okay now it's run the text box cursor should be on the text box one the id see now available in this id okay when I enter button using okay when you are using the enter button that time the cursor change from first text box to name text box and then combo box of the gender and then uh, mobile text box and then age text box how it's to change okay first time goes to need design page and goes to design see this is first text box and then this one same text box this one combo box one and then this one text box four and then this one text box three okay now in this place i am declaring the text box key down even whenever the fill after the filling the text box id the time the key press event is I key down event using in this place okay just uh, click go to right click and then property and then open the event in this place key down event key down okay go to key down and then double click this okay the key down event open okay in this place I am declaring the if condition okay if condition now in this place I am declaring e dot the key down so I am declaring e e means in this event the text box key down event okay uh, key dot key code 
e dot key code double equal 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 key key dot keys dot enter okay when we are using the enter that time the code should be function on the from text box to text box okay and then open bracket and then close bracket i am using in between this condition um text box we should focus the text box to okay dot focus and s okay see friends i am run it what happen in this key down event first i am declaring the text box only only to the text box one uh, just see the form load event the cursor should be active on the uh, text box one and then i am fill the text box then after i am clicking the enter button that time the text box cursor change to the text box to the name text box okay see i am just clicking enter okay see in this place move to the second text box but again i am enter but not open okay enter the uh, enter button clicking the enter button that time the cursor not move to the another text box okay so i should uh, set the each text box okay i uh, first time goes to again also i am goes to design and then each text box should be set this conditions okay and then click right property and then goes to each time should be declared like this key down double click double click okay the second and the text box in this also the copy this code and then also declare in this test control c and then control v okay now the text box need not in this place i am declaring a combo box dot focus control s see i am run it now i am just to enter the first time this time i am go to enter the first time and then goes to name and then again also enter the enter button that time also goes to enter that time i am changing in this place um, now move to male and female if you want to uh, set it means then after you click enter that not move okay i am setting the each text box and after goes to that so fully run it okay just time goes to comma box and then key down event to this one goes to property and then key down event key down double click okay in this place control v i here text box 4 control s and then text box 4 and then key down event control v text box 3 control s then after goes to text box 3 key down event double click and then open the control v now we need five field only available so the five field fill and then after goes to when uh, clicking enter the time goes to the save button so i am declaring the save button the save button means button 1 see i am clicking button 1 uh, save button that time the see this data button 1 okay uh, you see the name of the button number uh, button 1 okay it's a number 1 so i am declaring in this place button one dot focus okay 
control s okay now i am run it okay now see in this place i am uh, declaring the cursor on the id in the run mode event so okay now i am declaring this one uh, if now the clicking the enter button that time the cursor move to the uh, another one text box see h1 should be changed okay so i am also told to you see uh, this dot active in this place the cursor active in this place okay save it the data empty data save in this place this time view the empty data save okay minimum time save okay uh, okay in this place i am declaring the uh, anyone okay and then click enter again also change and then click enter again also change and then click enter and then change and then click enter and then change and click goes to save button okay see the focus on the save button then after click enter means it's not save the query why means the age is a integer mobile also integer and declaring a uh, um, character so it's uh, not save in this place it's a uh, one of the error okay so i'm goes to close it just wait the error project so see in this place declaring the error okay now we need not this okay thank you friends see again also told to you in the project of the key down event i am run this project uh, many more time using this key code any place you are using the uh, ASB .NET also and then .NET also in this Visual Studio. Okay, now okay, thank you, friends. See, I'm also changing the event uh, in this place. Just filling and then enter, filling and then enter, filling and then enter, filling and then enter, filling and and enter means here enter means the button focus on the save. See, listen carefully, save. Okay, the focus on the save. Okay, friends, thank you. If you want the correct answer means just save and then not save. Okay, thank you. Another custom told to you how to set the error provider to the each text box. Okay, if you are not filling the uh, text box means the time the error providing on the place. Okay, thank you friends. I am told to another concept on the another tutorial. Thank you. Thank you, boy friends.